Phillips, ELA, yay! I hate videos of myself, so I'm gonna do the best that I can, and this will probably be the only video I do this way. The rest of them will probably be voiceovers um, or lessons. But I wanted to take today with Miss Riley, who is my cameraman. Say hi, Miss Riley. And that was me. Her typical self. Um, just to go over how it should look when you're working at home. We have a lot of conversations in my classroom about what things will look like when you get to high school and college. So you're kind of getting, you know, a trial run now. And some of you mentioned that in the Canvas thread. So this will be like your online classes when you get older. When you sit down to do your schoolwork, you're gonna need something to write with. You're gonna need your subject level journal. You're gonna need a quiet learning environment. Now I strongly suggest that every morning you get up, you brush your teeth, you have your breakfast, and you get dressed just like any other school day to keep yourself into that routine. You don't need to be sitting around in your jammies doing your homework, eating cereal. Have your breakfast and then do your schoolwork and make sure that you have all the items that you need, that you're sitting at a table or you're sitting somewhere where you're not going to be distracted. Today we're gonna to have a very quick brief lesson on character traits. In Google Classroom, I've uploaded a note-taking document that you can use, or you can handwrite it in your ELA journal, but I'm gonna ask you to submit your notes to see that you have indeed watched the presentation. So character traits. A character is a person in a book or an animal that we follow, and the character trait is what's inside of them. Their physical trait is what's on outside. In elementary school, you do a lot of talking about character traits. So do character traits have anything to do with outer appearance at all? A lot of times we make assumptions about character traits based on someone's physical traits. Okay. The way they present themselves through dress. So if I see someone wearing all black, a lot of times I might make an assumption about that person. But like you couldn't list that as a character trait like so-and-so likes to wear all black. No, that's okay. not a character trait. Got Their it. character trait might be sad or it might be mopey, but wearing all black is not a character trait. Yeah, true, because they could also be like wearing all black but be, you know, classy. ninja or something. So. Ninja, Got classy, it. mopey, um, depressed. That makes or, sense. So that's so why a physical trait isn't a character trait because you don't really correct. know. Got it. Cool. Thank Just you. Just like when we talk about symbolism, roses can be love and beautiful weddings and romance, but if they're placed on a coffin, it means something else. So it's all about context with physical traits. All right, this movie was great about the different character traits. We have discussed fear, joy, sadness, anger. These are the kinds of things that live inside of us, our personality. When authors talk to you about character traits, and this will be uploaded, because I know it's a lot of information on there, and this information is somewhere else as well, Authors are going to tell you about character traits in two ways. Other characters are going to directly talk about other people, like when you talk about other people. They're going to say, oh, she's so sweet, or she's so caring, or oh my goodness, she gossips all the time. That is direct characterization, when you are being told who the character is. Indirect characterization is when you know who the character is by their actions. You might hear someone talk about someone in such a way that you make an assumption about them, but then when you watch their actions, it doesn't match what someone else has said about them. That's that indirect characterization when you watch their actions. So if someone is saying, oh, this person's kind and caring, but then you see them trip someone else in the hallway, they're not really kind and caring. Um, indirect characterization is watching the character's actions, thoughts, feelings, all of those things are indirect characterization. Now, character traits can be positive or negative. You may hear people say character traits are good or bad. A person is good or bad. I like to steer away from this. Sometimes we make bad choices. Sometimes we do things that we wouldn't normally do. That doesn't make us a bad person. Positive and negative traits. When we are positive, that's something that's light and uplifting. This is a long list of positive traits. Well, I normally tell you to record one or two things that you're not familiar with, that you want to get familiar with. This list will be posted um, in Canvas and probably also Google Classroom. Negative character traits are things that pull us down, that make us feel heavy, not necessarily bad. 
Um, I can have a day where I feel self-pitying, and that could be a character trait. It's not necessarily a bad character trait, but it's a negative one. It's something that makes me feel heavy. Could characters have both positive and negative character traits? Absolutely. Most people have both positive and char negative character traits. And as you get older, you're going to have more complex characters. So when we're younger, a lot of times characters are either really good and really bad, like Dora the Explorer. She never did anything wrong. Swiper, always stealing things. He always swiping. Always swiping. So you have the good and you have the bad. As we get older, our characters are gonna have a lot more dimension to them. And you're gonna see them with a lot of that internal conflict. And they're going to be struggling with the negative and positive more because oh, as we get older. Like Anakin Skywalker. Cause Anakin was, you know, he was good. He was Anakin. He was. He was just a little Padawan, and then he just wanted the best for Padme. But in order to try to get the best, he, you know, became friends with Emperor Palpatine, who's a really, he had all of those negative character traits, I'm pretty sure. And he was a really bad dude. But, so then Anakin started killing all these little children and stuff. I'm not um, sure he was unimaginative. Oh, that's true. I don't know, sometimes. Because Palpatine, eh, never know. But for those Star Wars fans out there listening, I think, like, that would be like Anakin, because... He still, and then like at the end when Obi-Wan or Yoda or whoever was like, there's still good in you. So he had both those character traits. Yes, and we've already talked about internal conflict cool. and internal struggles. And a lot of times that we are defining who we are. So we have some choice in which of the character traits we want. Like when I catch myself being manipulative and trying to get my way, I might stop myself and say, this isn't really fair. Um, I don't need to behave this way. And then I can choose more positive character traits. So in a lot of books that we read, as we get older, there's going to be that internal struggle. Now, that was a short little mini one. I hope you took some good notes. The form that I put in Google Classroom has notes for all three different lessons on character traits and characterization. And you will need to turn in the full thing into Google Classroom. Thank you so much for joining us today, and if you have any questions, please um, send me a message on my mind.